Hello and welcome to King Pasha's Garage. Today I'm showing you this, my all-wheel drive drift tune for the Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. It's a 2003 and it's my S1-900. Now I just got done chilling my A800 and I wanted to show you my S1-900 because it is different and it is a drift monster. I'm going to show you guys something that I haven't done before when I when it comes to tuning but I'm gonna show you guys today what I did now of, of course you know uh, you guys get to see stuff now my a800 um, I had some hiccups trying to make some of the videos uh, so it is what it is but I wanted to just show you guys these small little drift uh, clips of um, what this one can do this one's got the 1750 horsepower engine and it is an absolute beast look at that 43,000 I haven't seen a 43,000 in a long time um, and that 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 that's impressive all right I mean, you just got to hit that right. I mean, my best is a 52,000 on there. But we all know that when the that's when the game came out and things got fixed. I'll be showing that eventually, too. This thing is sick. All right. 1,441 horsepower. Absolute monster. I don't even know if I shared it yet. Either way. Um, yeah, this thing is great. I mean, I'm getting points a lot quicker. Um, I show, I told my friend uh, Lazy about this tune. He put it on to his, uh, his Mustang, he was saying. And he said, oh my goodness, this thing is a complete different animal. Um, and he's trying the, the, the alignment on more and more cars and just saying, yeah, King, you, you, you've got something here. And it is really just... Uh, making a ton of our vehicles uh, grab the points uh, more. Uh, definitely soaks up the uh, the points. Now, I would have shown a whole video of me going down the mountain, but like I said, I've been having issues at recording. Um, it won't record the whole mountain anymore. Uh, I think it just means I, I need a new Xbox. Now, I know you guys can take this uh, truck and just obliterate my... Uh, my point numbers for it. I'm used to it. Almost a 1.40, uh, you know, 140. It was a 1.137, and that's just amazing. I was stuck on 1.134 for the longest time. And um, I was like, no, I, I gotta retune. I gotta keep working this thing. And uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was pretty excited about it. Now this one, my S1, you know, you guys want to know what my car mastery is. This is all I did. This is all I ran. All right, nothing else. My A800, I didn't touch. Uh, the S1, I did. I, own, I, have, two, I have two trucks. I, I bought two trucks. Um, so then I could, you know, just switch from truck to truck. And I wouldn't have to just go into my tunes and, um, you know, uh, download the tune back and forth, back and forth. So I have two trucks. Uh, like I said, it's got the 7.4 liter V8 TT. Got all that power, all that torque. All right, all wheel drive drivetrain. All right, stock front bumper, stock uh, rear wing. Gives you nice, nice bed in the back. No, uh, no skirts. My A800 has them. 
um, you know, and, and they look good on my A800, and I, that's just kind of how I can just tell them apart, um, if I, you know, not paying attention to the class, um, I can see those. Uh, it's got the street hood, and also mine also, also has the, you know, uh, that Fast and Furious 1 paint job on it, just to make it even stand out even more. It's got snow tire compound on here. It's got 315s in the front. 315s in the rear. It's got my favorite rims, the TC105Ns. It's got 21s in the front. 21s in the rear. Stock width in the in the rear. Stock uh, track width in the front. I, I believe that gives me more points. I, you know, you have to try it side by side to see if there's a difference. You know, you have to probably do like two runs uh, with it maxed out, two runs with it not, and, and see if there's a difference. You know, it's got a 10-speed transmission, race drive line, drift differential, sure. Race brakes. Drift springs and dampener. So this is just a huge uh, increase from my A800 that only had 1,356 horsepower, which is still plenty, but it had a lot of these things taken off just so I could keep it in an A class. Um, but this one's maxed out, gives you the max power and everything else, keeps you in the S1 range, you know. So you can definitely still take this one and the 800 out onto the open uh, drift lobbies and this thing's gonna be an absolute beast um, out there so yeah it's I think you guys are really gonna enjoy uh, this truck um, so here's my uh, tune now I got 1515 giving you guys a little bit extra grip I mean I'm, I'm we're soaking in more points all right here's my gearing as you can tell pretty much your first second third are pretty much it you know everything else is really close together um, you know but you'll you'll be all right all right now the whole huge difference here is this all looks normal here but then there's this this was the big change instead of going out i took my front and i'm starting to go inwards and that was a huge change in points i i saw a 10 15 percent um more points going toe in so uh yeah I, I highly recommend you guys trying this setup on one of your cars maybe like a front engine car see how it works like a mustang or or you know the lightning or you know whatever and just see if this changes your um um point abilities and let me know in the comments below if that if if it does if it doesn't it doesn't i've noticed it doesn't sometimes yeah, i said it most cars I, i've already seen that some like one car that I was working on it didn't work and i had to try it again try try something else but like i said most vehicles that new tune uh that new alignment will work on anti-roll bars are just there for show all right um springs are just like my a800 maxed out all the way loads you can go dampening is 21 and 20 and 20 there is no downforce, so we don't have to worry about that. Braking, we have brakes on here, so we have 70% to the front with 130% pressure. And then my differential is 76, 86, 97, 97 with a 1,750 horsepower. To really make it work, 63% was uh, the, the sweet spot um, for this uh, vehicle. And uh, yeah, so uh, you don't want it you know too much to the rear like the a800 we was fine the 1356 horsepower was fine they would go higher up to like 84 percent but this 1750 horsepower engine 63 percent oops 63 percent i hit my button and knocked it up uh 63 percent is where you're going to want to be so um yeah see i had to just say now as you can tell it, it fixed itself so 63 percent is what you want yeah that's the uh that's the share code, the build, the tune, the replays. Yeah, this thing is pretty sweet. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. Um, yeah, so I, I, I bought two of them, um, you know, just to make things easier. Um, 
you know, and it's pretty subtle when you first take off. And with the 1,750 horsepower engine, um, it, it's, it's pretty smooth. You know, and she's a slider. She's a slider. So, I uh, that, that was important, right? You have to have a car that slides. Woohoo! You gotta have a car that slides, right? <laughs> um, I don't want anything that's too grippy. And, uh, yeah, that 63% is great. You know, it, it, it doesn't kick out the back end real hard. You can really just um, focus on just easy drifting with this thing and uh, soaking up as many points as you can. I can't see my tack. I'm, I'm kind of sitting on the side. And I had the sun blaring in on, on the TV. Don't you hate that? And, uh, yeah, so I can't really see much. Um, I do see I'm sliding there. But like I can tell, easy taking off, you know. And then that, you know, engine just comes alive. Um, let's see what kind of power we're getting right off the bat. We in first gear. That's re oh, that's reverse. Okay, look at that. That's the problem with that engine. See how long it takes you to get up to uh, 1,750 horsepower. You know, I don't personally like using this engine I did try I did have a uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's still up there on on the uh, store you might find it I do have a 1356 horsepower a I mean s1 900 up there but I, I, I deleted the tune but you can try it it might be a little bit more responsive than this but you got here on Ford now we're taking off so apparently it is wants to do its own thing. Sometimes it takes its time, and then sometimes it just shoots straight up. Interesting. Just odd. Look at that. Like that right there just starts to take its time. Probably the drag in the, uh, in the front tires. I don't know. I don't know how, how this game decides to make that all work. There's a null on this thing, on this game, that you can't turn off. Like when you hit your, uh, brake in your, in your, and you floor it or your e-brake and you floor it and it just goes to like 2,000 RPM. Sometimes you can uh, get that to just turn off and sometimes it just goes there and you're like, well, this is no good. Either way, phenomenal car, phenomenal tune. Uh, I highly recommend this thing. I think you're going to have an absolute blast with it. Um, and that alignment is is the, uh, the new tune, the new alignment that I'm running. Like I said, most cars. Most vehicles it'll work on. Most trucks it'll work on. Um, not all applicants will work. So you'll just have to uh, see what happens. Uh, you might get more points or you might get less. Who knows? That's why uh, I give you guys the tune so you guys can uh, find it out yourself. Have some fun out there. Well, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching and stay sideways, my friends.